live from Dixon City, Pennsylvania, a real happening place. If you happen, I don't know, to be working retail, I guess, or restaurants, because that's all that's around here, it's a late night weekend edition of Frank the Lunatic Rants. Hey, everyone. Just a quick rant here. Don't know how this is going to come out with the lighting and everything, but stop in the name of it. See, look, see the stop sign? Woo! <laughs> Anyhow, what I got to rant about, something I've noticed lately, uh, <laughs> over, over the last couple of years, actually, in regards to movies, movie credits. Now, you know, traditionally at one time, movie credits used to be at the beginning of a movie. You know, if you jump back like 40 years ago um, and, and past that, you know, 40, 50, that whole thing. Movie credits used to be at the beginning of a movie, but they weren't long. And they started putting them at the end of the movie and they started getting longer and longer. But now, good Lord, are movie credits long? Jesus, seriously. Like, what is the deal with them? They list everything under the sun. When the movie credits basically take up one-fourth of the movie, there's something wrong there, people. Of course, lately, there's movies that the credits are the most exciting thing about the movie. <laughs> uh, I Like, every little thing under the sun has to get listed. Like, you look through the thing. First assistant, second assistant, third assistant. The assistant for the assistant. The junior assistant. The assistant for the junior assistant. And then you go through a list. Like, carefully look at. Next time you rent a movie or go to the movies, carefully look at the credits. I know most people don't stay for the credits. But it's funny because there's always things usually at the end of the movie. You know, um, I think the Jurassic movies. Like, a bunch of movies did stuff like that. That there was something at the end of the movie. After the credits. And a lot of times that actually gives you an insight that there's going to be another movie, or hopefully be another movie. But the, the list is, goes on and on and on. Like, look at some of them. They list everything. Uh, it, who made the fruit? Who supplied the coal cuts? Lunch meat, whatever you want to call it. Who supplied the soda? The cashier. The, the cashier for whatever, the, the food or whatever the hell it is. Um, let me think. What, the, every single security guard. For every single location where the movie was. Um, the tutors that that taught the kids because the movie was filmed during school year or something. Um, like everything. The, list, and the, the accountants, the payroll, who does payroll, the assistant payroll, the HR person, the assistant HR person. Um, <laughs> let me think. The janitors. Um, it, the list goes on and on, just gets longer and longer. Like, you know, who wiped the director's ass? The $2 whore that was outside the studio, blowing everybody for a chance to try getting on the movie set. Everybody under the sun. I bet you if you look carefully, they probably even list the drug dealer and the suppliers and everything that supplied the drugs for all the stars in the movie. Really? It's there somewhere. It really is. Uh, like, I'm surprised they don't list the pigeon that flew by. The dog that took a crap outside the studio. The person who had to clean up the crap. It's a list just goes on and on. It's getting to a point that, like I said, the credits are basically one-fourth of the movie itself. The movie's over and just really watch... Just watch the credits. You'll discover that you're probably there about 10 minutes at least watching all the credits. And forget about movies where there's computer animation. Oh my God, there's usually about 200 friggin' names involved. And then their assistants. And the assistants for the assistants. And then for every single location. The drivers, this person, that person, this person, that person. That the person making telephone calls. Um, <laughs> everything under the sun. 
the monkey who picked the bananas from the tree that was given to the person who made the fruit platter to deliver to the star's trailer. The person who delivered the fruit platter. The friggin' fruit, fruit fly that was flying around the fruit on the fruit platter. It just goes on and on and on and on. See, my credits aren't that long. Although maybe I should make my credits that long. You know what? I bet you at the end of this, I wouldn't be surprised if the Cupcake Twins put credits 80 miles long for everything under the sun. Wait and see. I bet you they do. Anyhow, this was a short rant. I'm Frank the Lunatic. I approve this message. Subscribe. Somewhere over here, there's a box that says useful box. Click the damn thing and subscribe already. You know you want to do it. Your friends are doing it. Peer pressure. Do it, do it, do it. Stop and click and subscribe. Comment. Comment below. Tell me what's going on. Hell, tell me the weather where you're at. I don't care. Tell me something. Or send me fan mail. FrankTheLunatic at gmail.com. Send me something. I don't care at this point. <laughs> Anyhow. I'm Frank the Lunatic. I approve this message. And that, my friends, is all I have to say about that. Big, 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 big